Hey there, thanks for stopping by. In my timeline down here, I have a video clip shot in 4K at 30 frames per second. I have a mid-range gaming PC, and I'm just gonna play back a few seconds to show you that my computer can handle the playback or the preview of this video clip. On, we just wanna swipe down on the screen. Now my issue is that when I get to where this part of the video right here, where I have some music, and I have some filters where I'm zooming into 400%, I got a couple pop-up subscribers videos on top of that that when I do play it it gets really laggy and really choppy so let me play that you've probably experienced this yourself and then right there at the top format SD card remember this will erase everything you have on that cards so make sure to transfer them i'm going to go ahead and press on it and you can see right there that's kind of painful but when we're video editing and we want to preview what we're editing it's too choppy for me too laggy so my solution is to go up to settings click on settings and we're going to go scroll down to preview scaling right now you can see that it's defaulted to none i'm just going to go ahead and change that to 360p so for my entire project, even though we're viewing the preview in a lower resolution, we can have a smoother editing and preview experience. So let me go ahead and press play at 360. And then right there at the top, format SD card. Remember, this will erase everything you have on that card, so make sure to transfer them. And you can see right there, it's much more smooth than the original. And you can tell that you're previewing it on 360p right here. It's gonna show you that you're are previewing at 360p. Now, even though you're editing in 360 and previewing in 360p, when you do finally export, you can see right here, it's gonna export in 4K or whatever resolution you originally shot your video with. Let's check out tip number two. Okay, in the second example, I have an 11 second video shot in 8K with the second video of an animated subscribe button on top. Let's see if my computer can even play 8K video. Let me hit play. And you can see right here, my computer is having a hard time even playing it. It is so laggy and choppy, it is almost useless. Let me go ahead and pause that. So what we wanna do is use something called proxy, okay? So I'm gonna make sure my 8K clip is highlighted. Then we're gonna to go to settings. And we're gonna to go to proxy. And what proxy means is we're going to take this 8k video and render it to a lower video meaning 360p something that our computer can actually handle so I'm going to go ahead and check on proxy and then you can see right here this pop-up window comes up and says do you want to create missing proxy files for every file in this project I do not I just want to do the one that I highlighted so I'm going to say no and you can see by default now, if you look on my timeline, that 8K video says proxy there. And if I click on it and go to properties, you can see now it's not at 8K anymore. It's at 360p. So let's try and play it. You can see it's moving along a little bit better, maybe even a lot better than the original 8K file, but it's still kind of, uh, it's usable, but not the best. So this is where we go to tip number one. So we've done the proxy. Now we can go to settings. We can go to preview scaling and click on 360p. So let's go to the beginning of the video. So we have a a proxy and the preview scaling. Let's go ahead and hit play. And you can see right there that 8K video that was hardly unplayable. I can now edit, do all my fancy stuff to it and actually preview it without any problems. The only drawback is I'm not looking at it in high definition. I'm looking at it 360p which is a nice trade-off because I can publish my video. And just so you know that when you do export your video, like so, you can see right here, it is going to be in 8K. If you have a really high-end gaming PC or workstation PC, you probably won't have to enable proxy or the scaling preview. But if you have a lower-end PC or an old PC, 
the first tip should do you just fine. If you're editing 4K 60 frames per second or 8K, you might want to use the proxy. And it just depends on how many filters and how many timelines you're using, uh, how you might utilize these things. I hope this tutorial helped you out and uh, make sure to check out my channel. I'll leave a playlist here so that you can uh, check out some other shortcut tutorials. I want to thank you for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in the next video, folks. Love you guys. Peace out.